it's at least 60 40 but i the frost mage destruction warlock just looks so solid and they must be expecting the Windwalker, Death Knight, Mistweaver, and the Blind Pick. They play it pretty much every game, wildcard game, and this is just their new bread and butter. Let's see if they can manage to do it. They did take game one game <laughs> off of wildcard gaming with this composition, so there is still opportunity for them for sure. This start is great for Method Black with multiple boosted Garrote damage there from Stealth on both Blizzo and Z-Pi, and Crowd Control on Looney. But even with that great start, not able to sink their teeth in just yet. Interesting. Zipai, I don't think the last time these two teams met, he was playing the Dark Simulacrum, or at least he didn't get any value out of it. So now he's actually... He stole Fear. It. Yeah, he just took Fear. So now Chaz in a full Fear, and this is extra crowd control wildcard gaming has available. You see the Fear on Chaz into a Paralysis, Looney in position to get a Leg Sweep. And this is where uh, wildcard gaming can get hyper-aggressive, and I think that extra crowd control might even swing this match up in more of favor for wildcard gaming. All right. Swapsy trying to use that Nether Ward to reflect incoming Gladiator's Maledicts. Will he be able to survive? This is a huge burst. Still very low on health. Chaz connects some big Nourish heals in the back line, but another stolen fear. Swapsy cannot afford to give this much crowd control to z -Pi. It could allow Wildcard Gaming to find victory. Now with Way of the Crane activated, they're trying to close this out. Swapsy Demonic Gates gets gripped back into the fight. Looney gets peeled away for a few moments. They're actually trying to swap to him. He's able to Transcendence away from the Chaos Bolt. Good denial. Looney manages to escape. I like that move by Waz, trying to punish Looney's push in and protect Swapsy, and then at the same time put pressure on Wildcard Gaming. Yep, Blizzo porting away. We need to make sure he's doing a good job with his Transcendence. I don't even think he relayed it. You can see in the middle, right on top of Blizzo, he actually forgot to relay his Transcendence again, and this cost him on the Grand Arena before, so the things can start getting scary, especially without that extra mobility. Chaz is playing Feral Affinity. I ju just noticed that when he stunned up Looney, they could switch to Chaz. We've seen Windwalker Death Knight in the past just run a Druid over, especially with the Feral Affinity. I'm wondering if they want to do that. It's a little bit riskier, obviously. You leave Swapsy open, and so far they've been getting so much pressure on Swapsy, it's unlikely. Maybe they even just kill him. The crowd control from Wildcard Gaming is on point here in game number one, continuously denying the cast of both Chaz and Swapsy simultaneously. Looney taking complete control of Chaz. Swapsy unable to really get any counter pressure going. He's under fire. Another stolen fear by z -Pi. Could just close game number one out as Swapsy continues to get bursted. Iron Park needs to be enough, but he's only got 10% health remaining. Is it going to be? Does it look like it's going to be? And Swapsy will fall in game number one. Wildcard Gaming, that was absolute domination. I think pairs quite nicely with the Windwalker Monk. EU Grand Final, Wildcard Gaming looking to do it again, looking to have an additional win against this team in Grand Finals this year, trying to catch up for first place for the overall standings. Let's see what they can do. All right, Swapsy put on the bench. Raikou and Waz is going to be tag teaming together here in game number two against Wildcard Gaming. Wildcard Gaming on the rise here in this spring season, just asserting dominance over the European region and looking to be a strong contender to potentially take the spring finals as well. Method Black, they're flustered. They're trying to come up with a way to deal with it, and so far basically nothing has worked. Blizzo with Touch of Death is looking for some huge burst here. Chaz denies with Iron Bark already activated, reducing the incoming damage and stabilizing the team quite effectively. Waz is now trying to reverse some pressure here with tons of damage. Touch of Death about to explode. How is Blizzo going to respond? Is he going to under-respond? Gets bursted, able to portal away, barely surviving around the corner. Waz in hot pursuit. Yep, we'll have to see what happens. Blizzo already forced to trade out his Touch of Karma. Icy Veins used by Raikou. Chaz with no Trinket. Might get swapped to, but no, they're mostly focusing on crowd control. I want to see if Waz is playing the grapple weapon. I think it's really important. He's actually not. And we saw that such a, be such an important talent for Blizzo when they were running that composition to actually take down the Death Knight of Cervantes. So I think that's a little bit of a mistake there for Waz. He's opting into a little bit more defense with the Fortifying Brew, but I don't think he's going to be the main target in this matchup. I think it's kind of a waste. Well, there's a lot more to it than just locking in the classes that were able to overcome a composition. You also need to have the gear set, the talents, the trinkets. There's so much more that goes into preparation than just saying, yeah, we'll play Windwalker Mage into Windwalker Death Knights. You have to know exactly the builds that are run to be able to get an edge. And right now, Method Black are not playing the best builds over all necessarily to be able to overcome that disadvantage. The build that they are running, they're employing the best strategy, which is killing Blizzo. However, we've saw in the past with the grapple weapon strategy that you can kill the Death Knight, and he is a liability later into dampening. Looney, 
beautiful play. He saw Polymorph being casted and he wasn't able to avoid it. So right as it, the cast finished, he activated Life Cocoon. So he sits through a full Polymorph and the Life Cocoon soaks up all of the damage that would have otherwise been threatening to Blizzo with no touch of Karma. Looney's defense looks unshakable. Their offense in game number one looked unbeatable. And wildcard gaming are just on a whole nother level now that Method Black have to scramble to get on an even footing. Yeah, what is Raikou going to do? Blizzo still a little bit low here. Good burst damage coming in from Method Black. Do they have the crowd control? Raikou sneaks in a full polymorph. This is a good opportunity here. Touch of death rolling for Blizzo, though. They're looking to get really aggressive on a Raikou, and a polymorph was actually cast out onto Chaz. Zipai once again with the Dark Simulacrum, just owning Method Black. That full polymorph oh. might net the first ice block from Raikou. Paralysis follows it up. Looney looking for a leg sweep, manages to find it. Raikou in some trouble now. No Iron Bark, no Temporal Shield. This is normally when you see the Windwalker Death Knight get some pressure, but Waz with beautiful backup lands the double leg sweep, and that frees Raikou up to survive. Right, Chaz is going to need to try and get away and drink and regenerate mana. Looney is significantly ahead in that regard. And if Looney can have as much mana as possible in dampening, it means he gets more way of the crane pushes, which increases the damage of his team immensely and can overwhelm Method Black. Zipai Blizzo still just gunning down Raikou. Chaz is trying to sneak across. Looney sees it, instantly stops it with that Crackling Jade Lightning. Chaz repositions, but he's unable to find any opportunity. Raikou is still under pressure. Waz is getting cleaved down as well. Both members in trouble. This composition, they've had some decent burst opportunities on the wildcard gaming, but overall, I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to overcome wildcard gaming. I still would like to see them try the Frost Mage Destruction Warlock, but if they lose on Ashamane's Fall, then they've really only got Tolveron to fall back on in a best of seven? Yeah, Looney into a full polymorph. He gets the life cocoon out, and that will be enough to keep his team alive. Now Raikou in some trouble. Chaz forced to trink it out. He has Iron Bark. This is the Icy Veins. This is the offensive push that Method Black really needs. Blizzo, he trades out. He will ultimately survive with the touch of karma as well as the fire blood racial, making him very durable. Double leg sweep coming in from Blizzo. Good setup attempt here from Wildcard Gaming once again. If we look at mana, Looney actually snuck away. He completely topped off his mana. Chaz really struggling. Zipai realizing he's going to get some sips. He is one thirsty kitten, and Zipai will be able to shut that down. Chaz gets denied again. Wildcard Gaming with a significant lead. Maybe a potential opening to kill Blizzo here if Blizzard doesn't have that transcendence in a good location, but it's actually Wildcard Gaming's turn to attack. Chaz is finding no room to breathe, let alone sit down and drink. Looney secures crowd control. Raikou in trouble, but with Tempora Shield rolling right before all that crowd control, heals himself up a tad bit. The crowd control is still just not stopping. Chaz needs to get some big heals soon. That touch of death is about to go off. Iron Bark should stall it out. Now Raikou's trying to reverse it with the Frozen Orb. Tagging down two members of Wildcard Gaming. There's definitely going to need a bit more dampening. I think if we get deeper into dampening, z definitely becomes the target, but Waz is not running that grapple weapon, so maybe that isn't even enough, and that one strategy adaptation that Method Black are not taking could cost them the game. Yeah, Chess sitting down for a drink right now. Will he be able to regenerate mana? That's so important for the team, and nice denial by Waz. Manages to get the paralysis on Looney, only slowing him down for a brief moment, though and Chaz ultimately able to potentially get another drink here. Looney did deny the first one with the Ring of Peace. Death and Decay denies the second. Chaz not re really able to regenerate too much, but Wildcard Gaming, they've had really good pressure. They haven't gotten any ice blocks though from Raikou, so still sitting quite pretty uh, with those two major defensive cooldowns available. And I think, like we kind of talked about, is dampening rolls, it's a double-edged sword, although Method Black's gonna be taking more pressure. All of a sudden, Zipai, who I think is a much better target in this matchup, becomes much more vulnerable. All right, Blizzo under fire, using that Diffuse Magic to get rid of that Gladiator's Maledict, but still low on health. Looney with no Gladiator's Medallion, caught in crowd control. Blizzo could be in trouble if Raikou uses an aggressive Ice Block. Blizzo tries to stay alive with the Fire Blood. Not going to be enough. Looney has to exchange Life Cocoon as well. Bit of an overlap. Nice Cyclone at low health. Method Black showing signs of life, but they're running out of time. That Mana Bar of Chaz is not looking too healthy. Blizzo still isolated in midfield. Raikou desperately trying to push forward and get a touch of karma with this big push from Waz. They need to get a touch of karma off this touch of death, but the burst connects. Looney instantly heals it back, and they're not going to be able to bank that cooldown. Chaz is still running on the outskirts trying to drink, and Looney is constantly chasing him down with Crackling Jade Lightning, harassing Chaz and denying him from drinking exactly what Wildcard Gaming need to do to find victory, but Raikou sneaks in a counter spell. Blizzo responds, trades out uh -oh. karma. Surprising damage here from Wildcard Gaming. This could be an ice block. Chaz has been so much time trying to regenerate mana and he's not healing during it now locked in crowd control chain they could switch their attention to waz get multiple defensive cool
cooldowns, a two-pronged assault. Blizzo needs to be careful, though. The longer that he stays in midfield, the more likely that he could go down as well. He exchanges to stay ahead of the damage and just stay on target. Wildcard Gaming looked to overwhelm Method Black soon. Yep, Raku in some trouble with Temporal Shield. Should be able to survive, but in the meantime, Waz also had to trade out the touch of Karma, so there is that two-pronged assault you were talking about. Blizzo and Zipai can definitely get pressure on Raku and Waz. Chaz almost completely tapped on mana, but Blizzo's the one that's in trouble. Life Cocoon stabilizes him, keeps him alive. Looney connecting some heals. Ultimately, Blizzo will survive, but with that nice cyclone from Chaz, that denies a lot of the healing Looney had available. They could potentially keep him low, and Raku and Waz might be looking to make a swap onto him. All right, Raikou, what are you going to do? Only one ice block left. Chaz got zero mana, and Looney's constantly on his back, on his tail, to say, in that cat form. Chaz connects a big heal, stabilizes, but totally tapped now. 20% dampening. They need to try and get the second ice block. Raikou hard carry with these counter spells. It's creating windows of opportunity for Method Black to strike back here in game number two. They cannot afford to lose on this. Otherwise, they're just down two swing match advantages. They're basically losing their best map, one of their best maps at least against Wildcard Gaming. They can't afford to lose this game if they want to take the entire tournament. Looney and crowd control, full polymorph. Opts to use the Glyrus Medallion to stay aggressive. Waz is running down. Raikou's in trouble. Looney looks to secure crowd control to end the match. Will he find the kill? Blizzo charges in. Multiple interrupts. Raikou in trouble. Second ice block easily going to be forced here. They're trying to hold on to it, but they can't. Second ice block. At least they don't panic. They hold on to Iron Bar. But once again, the hard carry counter spells uh -oh. from Raikou. Three counter spells in a row. Might be enough to take down Blizzo. He's barely holding on. The crowd control continues with Waz getting a paralysis, but they don't get the kill. And Raku's got nothing. Yeah, Waz could be in some trouble now, too, with no trinket. He has a touch of karma. Will he get out of the stun? Another stun coming in from Looney. Waz does sneak in the touch of karma. And that was a really Chaz? nice play from Raikou. But Waz still in a lot of trouble here. Uh, Caught in midfield. Bozo all over him, but he's just going to let him go. Get back onto Raikou. He's realized Waz probably won't go down in that situation. But now Waz such a vulnerable it. target. Nothing really left. Here it is. Chaz sitting down uh, for a drink. Will he be able to regenerate mana? Waz kind of left alone. He gets a leg sweep, but... Waz has to kite here. He needs to be able to avoid damage. Chaz got mana. He could easily fall. Chaz got mana, but they've got no... They did it! They got the kill off the back of it! Looney went for a way of the crit. Okay, so Chaz went for a drink. Looney popped away of the crit. Because they can all play those different specializations. And then, of course, having that healer on your team who can play pretty much everything is really key. Same thing goes for Goreki over in the boys. He can play a lot of different healers, too. So those three teams, I would... Definitely keep my eyes on. Definitely important to think about as this first season of the year is starting to get to its climax. Now we're tied up one and one. Wild card gaming against Method Black. Explosive start here for both sides. Method Black have three members low on hell. Touch of Karma already pulled from Blizzo. Method Black trying to battle it back here in this series. If they can overcome this swing match, they will then have the advantage should this series swing to a game seven. So far, so good. Getting Looney locked down in crowd control during the way of the crane. Can they stall it out a bit longer? No. Looney now able to stabilize, and Blizzo looks to counterattack. Yeah, Raikou has to do a great job in this matchup of landing those mana rifts. That's the lead that they need. I feel like on all other fronts, Wildcard Gaming will have the advantage, but if they can get Looney out of mana, they might be able to take down this team. So far, good pressure coming up from both sides. Blizzo, Zipai really focusing on Swapsy. He's forced to trade out of the leg sweep. I'm curious to see if Blizzo is going to be running that grapple weapon. And I think he is. It's just so strong against the Death Knight, if you can disarm him, he actually isn't running it. He's running Tiger Eye Brew instead, so really trying to shred through some of that armor swaps he has available. All right, Looney actually tapped on cooldowns here. Blizzo low as well. Method Blacker playing this Demon Hunter Death Knight more aggressively, not so much focused on the Mana Rift while I'm sure they're cycling it in. They're focused a lot more on crowd control and burst and overwhelming wild card gaming, which is an adaptation that we have not seen from this composition in particular, and let's see if it's enough to crack Looney. Yeah, we'll have to see. Raikou so far has been doing a really good job. Looney gets interrupted. Looks like he's kind of falling apart here, but should be able to stabilize as Raikou is forced to help out Swapsy just a little bit in the matchup. Blizzo, when he has that Tiger Eye Brew, he's going to be able to do tons of damage, but Swapsy can see that. And the one reason why I don't like Tiger Eye Brew in this matchup is Swapsy, with the anti-magic shell, can completely deny all of that nature damage Blizzo will have available. Huge pressure from Method Black in this position. Two members low on health. Looney struggling, falling behind on mana, which is not what we have typically 
typically seen in the matchup between Misfavor and Restoration Druid. Imprison denies the way of the crane for a couple of seconds. Do so they have anything out of it is the question. They don't. Looting will then start to stabilize the team, but at least they've limited the damage potential from the way of the crane by saving that Imprison, timing it. Chaz gets crowd control. Swapsia under fire. Looney still the one on the back foot. Transcendence around line of sight, but Raikou in hot pursuit with an immediate disrupt, breaking up the cast time. Now Soothing Mist freely being cast. Swapsy unable to connect for now. Looney repositions, but Chaz still has a lead, and I was not expecting Method Black to have this great of a showing. Yeah, things are looking really good for Method Black and really bad for Rich's mustache. And, <laughs> and Blizzo are getting lower. What is Looney gonna do? Triple leg sweep, Chaz forced to trinket out. Darkness gets dropped out as well. Actually doesn't, so Raikou still has that available when he needs it. Blizzo a little bit low. Touch of Karma, touch of death committed. They're really looking to get pressure here onto Chaz. Can Chaz escape? Manages to get out of line of sight, finding a regrowth, but Looney there might be able to find a full leg sweep, but no, he can't leave Blizzle behind. Life Cocoon has to trade out. Wildcard Gaming is falling apart. I mean, I think they're just starting to realize they can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a melee throwdown in the center field. They have to instead try and run Chaz down, which then puts this game on even more of a clock. Chaz gets swapped to and bursted. How will he respond? Multiple cooldowns overlap to try and stabilize. Chaz manages to recover. Now Wildcard Gaming on the back foot with Blizzo so low and no touch of Karma. Looney trying to run away, but every time he retreats, Blizzo is left behind. Blizzo just has to stay next to him. Looney in trouble. Wave the crane at low health. If he gets interrupted on any of these rising sun kicks, one blade dance to a unit, he's not going to recover. But it looks like he is slowly and surely able to recover through the burst. Mana starting to even out. Still a slight lead for Method Black, but I'm glad that Wildcard and Gaming are switching up the strategy. I think going after Chaz is likely their only option. Yeah, it's looking good too. Chaz is falling apart just a little bit with no trinket, no bark skin. The next swap on Chaz, it will mo most likely be Raikou's Darkness, but he doesn't actually have it available. So there's really no safety net left for Method Black if they can continuously get this pressure out. Looney almost completely tapped on mana. Raikou's still doing his job in this matchup, landing the mana rifts, keeping that lead for his team. Chaz was able to sneak away for a little bit of a drink, and he secured that lead, which is going to be so important for Method Black. All right, Blizzo, very low. Trade such a karma and survives. Now trying to go all in, but maybe overextended. Transcendence back on Chaz's face. Lots of damage. It's going to be a race to the finish. Both healers almost completely tapped on mana. I think that Chaz is going to have more favorable exchange. He just got better mobility to avoid z -Pi. Then Blizzo is going to have to avoid Raikou. Chaz trades out Ironvark to stabilize the team. Looney only has enough mana for maybe one more way of the crane. When are they going to go for it? Triple stun secured as Looney overextended. Blizzo's in trouble. Uh -oh. He's just going for the kill. He's trying to race it with the touch of death. Maybe not a race that he oh. can win. Maybe it is. Chaz tries to jump back behind the box. Glad of your safeguard protecting him for now, but how much longer? Blizzard just doesn't care. He's just cautioned to the wind. He's going to be training him down to the bitter end. Looney, z looking to close out the game. What are you going to do, Chaz? He still has Trinket and Barksy and doesn't want to wait too long. Looney, the final push with Way of the Crane, and Chaz manages to survive. I think he's going to be able to get away. This means Blizzard could be in a lot of trouble if Swapsy and Raikou can maintain the pressure. They might be able to take him down, but at the black, they're tapped on mana as well. Both teams really don't have too much left to work with. Moving deep here into dampening that grapple weapon strategy to kill Swapsy could be quite effective, but Swapsy has actually made an adaptation in his build, running that Lichborn, which is just effectively a one-minute cooldown icebound fortitude, so he can trade that frequently with Iron Bark from Chaz, which is how they're able to stabilize and stay so far ahead in terms of pressure. Perhaps z should look to make that adaptation if this matchup occurs again. Looney's so far behind on mana. Maybe but Chaz is is he going to get it? He needs to get some mana off this. z doesn't want him to, but he got the tiniest bit. Maybe enough. Swapsy trying to reconnect. Blizzo marching forward. It's still do or die at this point. Chaz has lots of options and Blizzo doesn't. So if you're wildcard gaming, you're going to have to be playing pretty shaky here. They got a double stun. They uh -oh. stall. Looney. Oh no. Sits down. This is One disastrous. Step, two sip, three, two is enough. That's two way of the cranes. I don't think Chaz can handle that. No, that is it. Looney drinking. That's going to secure this match for them unless Blizzo completely throws. Chaz getting lower. No mana left to work with. Still has the bark skin. Yeah. Not trading it out as he gets death grip back in. 
Wildcard Gaming, close call for them. Well, but now our attention on Tolveron Arena. Wildcard Gaming going to be leading by one against Meta Black, trying for repeat success. And now we're going to have this much larger map, Sid. And Looney, is he going to be able to get drinks against Raikou and Swapsy? Yeah, Looney anticipated a Wizard Cleave set up for Meta Black, so he switched to Restoration Druid to try and get a late game advantage in that regard. It's a good preemptive decision on his part to try and guarantee their team the most high percent chance to win in this particular matchup. On paper, you would say that Meta Black should take this, but potentially Wildcard Gaming, they've been playing this composition basically exclusively, and they are going to be playing at the peak of perfection, potentially, whereas Meta Black haven't played the Ellie Mage in some time, potentially a little bit rusty here. If Wildcard Gaming can win this, they put them on match point and just continue their domination. I'm really wondering if they can do it here on Tolveron. Wild card gaming peak perfection is what Sid is calling for. But Swapsy, this is a man who doesn't even know what the word rusty means. I don't <laughs> expect to see any problems from him at all. And you got to remember, Swapsy came in with so many. Last time we actually saw him on the Elemental Shaman, he was the guy who brought the surprise pressure. All of a sudden, you see that lightning lasso, the Maledict goes flying out, and for some reason, he's got 30 million Earth Shocks in his back pocket that he's able to throw at his opponent. Be ready for Swapsy to try to get that big damage. Chaz instantly going to get a drink off. Off here and this is something that we see the top level druids do they go for those drinks nice and early make sure that they never fall behind on mana we expect both of our druids to be very thirsty kittens yeah, yeah and uh, right now we kind of have raikou going in here uh, i want to see raikou and swapsy do the what we like to call the triangle positioning where you have one wizard on each corner of that pillar basically trying to snipe people behind there now we do see looney going for the bash cyclone beautiful counter spell by raikou nice swap here nicely done uh, looney's gonna have to drink it there and the reason why is at the back of that counter spell when you are counter spelled as a druid on your cyclone on your nature school you cannot activate that bark skin which otherwise would have been the more efficient trade here for looney so now there's an opening for method black potentially to try to take somebody down if they can land a bash into a cyclone or a bash into a polymorph all of a sudden blizzard or z5 could be in big big trouble and, and this is kind of what we expect from swapsy as well this is a very efficient trade coming out from him we don't even need to see that crazy Crazy damage set. Yeah, most certainly. What I like from Looney is he knows that their team needs a little bit of extra damage, so he's gone for the Feral Affinity to try and add in that bit of extra damage. Now, the risk with that is that you lose Guardian Affinity, which reduces damage you take and also get, grants you Frenzied Regeneration, which is almost an immediate recovery ability if you're targeted down. So Looney, to be able to win this matchup, has to navigate in, deal damage, and then also avoid dying at the same time as healing his whole team. But if he can accomplish all three of those, he can overcome this disadvantage that he wouldn't typically have compositionally facing Method Black. And that is one of the most important things to note. Also, guys, in the grand final right now, we know both of these Druids are really going to make sure they have what it takes to make it into the late game. We expect these guys to play for that later portion of the game. Look at Looney and Chaz. Look at those mana bars right now. They go for drinks at the same exact time. They get behind their respective pillars, and then they go, okay, we had a reset. Let's go again. All right, let's see what Looney can get done. Both teams, it, it looks like Wildcard Gaming are trying to stall. That's mostly because if they fight too long out in the open, they're going to get blasted and blown up by the Wizards of Method Black. So they need to stay at the pillar, death grip in a target, stun lock it, try burst it down, and then r rinse repeat, at least until deeper into dampening. And then in dampening, they need to try and calculate a push. How long can they stay out in the open to get a kill? And if they can calculate the exact amount of time to do so, then they can find victory. If they miscalculate, then they're going to find defeat. We're going to tie it up and go to a game five. Yeah, and Looney is playing that Feral Affinity, so we're going to be looking at him to go in and kind of set his team up with those stuns. Raikou channeling out a Ray of Frost with that Icy Veins uh, timing out now. Swapsy getting gripped in. The stun is DR, though. A little bit of a misplay there from z uh, And Looney get that uh, stun into the Cyclone onto Chaz. Not too much pressure is going to be happening at the back of that one, though. Uh, Chaz still getting crowd controlled up, but they are forced to retreat on the side of Wild card gaming they're going to be looking to uh, increase dampening a little bit and now you see swapsy how he moves to the opposite side of the pillar there and that's of course so that raikou can get that frozen orb so that they can start doing this damage now if swapsy gets gripped in he's going to punt the enemy team back with that thunderstorm and he's going to be able to go into that ghost wolf suppress that chains of ice slow and run out in the open and now zipa and blizzard have to hard commit and they actually look to do it here now raikou getting some nice polymorphs on the zipa uh, on the blizzard sorry and zipa is going to abort that mission, run back to the pillar, Blizzle, 
transcending back and now again Swapsy's gonna run to the triangle position right there you can see chess Raikou and Swapsy. he can draw a triangle line between them and Raikou is going to get the blizzard and the frozen orbs and Looney now going in for a uh, rake cyclone tanks out the counter spell nice swap here from Swapsy and Raikou Raikou though getting swapped to himself as well nice asphyxiate and grip not gonna be able to even force out the temporal shield by the looks of it and now Chaz is looking to cyclone up Looney on low health Yep, they are consistently running these cute triangles. And looks like Looney will be caught into the Cyclone. What are they going to be able to do out of it? Chaz finds another one. Zipai under pressure, but at the pillar, he should be fine. A bash now on a Looney. Swapsy moving in. Can he take him down? Is Swapsy just going to be able to solo Looney? Raikou's nowhere to be found. And Looney almost goes down, but he will be able to stabilize. Barkskin and Trinket should be enough. Zipai on 40% health as he's caught into the midfield. Touch of death rolling on a Swapsy, but with a nice earthquake or a nice thunderstorm as well as the iron bark. I think Swapsy's going to be completely fine. Yeah, and this is exactly what we were saying about Swapsy a little bit earlier on in the series. He is going to be able to bring that pressure. Now, Blizzo going to be the target here briefly. Looney has taken the brunt of the damage so far, but you can see that both of these druids definitely not kitting around when it comes to their mana bars. They're looking for drinks constantly, and now the pressure is on. It's going to make it very difficult to get them. Starting to chunk quite a bit is going to be Blizzo as he's caught in the lasso. Yeah, and now again, we do see them finally leave that pillar and try to go for a push. They need they, they need to get that uh, ice block here. They, there's no temporal shell. There's no iron bark for five more seconds on Chaz. And now they are looking to uh, put the pressure onto Raikou. Not going to be able to find it just yet, though, if Raikou can hold on. There it is, iron bark. Now the Malibu gets all big damage, though. Stun onto Chaz. Yeah, Raikou's still in a lot of trouble being greedy with the ice block. We've seen him fall without using it before. But not today. Chaz manages to keep him alive, and Raikou will stabilize, pulling out into the midfield. And it really seems like Zipai and Blizzard are now turning their attention, attention over onto Raikou, feeling confident at 10% dampening to make an offensive push into the midfield. Iron Bark's already been traded out. Temporal Shield, those are the major check marks now. Wildcard Gaming, they need to find enough time to continue this push onto Raikou. Blizzo trades out both his Fortifying Brew as well as the Touch of Karma. They really want this Ice Block. And he brushes it off the first time. He tries to counter Aggress, and that gets met by Blizzo's Aggression. Now Raikou on the chopping block again. The Lightning Lasso going to control Blizzo and then make him the target instantly. A brilliant turnaround coming in from Method Black. Blizzo needs to get out of dodge quickly. Cast some of those vivifies up on himself as his healer is behind another pillar right now. Chaz going to find that opening, finds a cheeky clone as well, trying to keep that pressure rolling for his team. And Blizzard is actually in big trouble. He doesn't have his transcendence. It was located on that pillar, and Looney and Zipai kind of just left him there in the back. Now Blizzo is slowly trying to make his way to the pillar. He might have to activate the Touch of Karma. Actually doesn't have it available. Going to go ahead and use that reverse, uh, going to use that anti-magic zone instead from Zipai, and he should be fine getting cloned up on low HP. Beautifully done by Chaz. Now Looney looking to sit down and get a drink. Raikou though, gonna be channeling that Ray of Frost, trying to put out some pressure, trying to force Looney to stop drinking. Now Looney looking for the Rake Stun, gets it onto Raikou. Might be looking for a Cyclone as well. And the reason why he does it on Raikou there is because Raikou has been landing these counter spells time and time again. Now a lot of pressure onto Swapsy then. Yep, definitely. Swapsy could be in some trouble, but with the way Swapsy kites, what he does is he gets in Ghost Wolf, which suppresses a lot of those snares, and he runs in a straight line and then really relies on the snares that Raikou has available on that Frost Mage. So in order for Swapsy to actually fall in this matchup, he needs to be caught into stuns. Zipai and Blizzard need to trade out a lot of their momentum, a lot of the cooldowns they have to stay on target. But I think outside of that, Swapsy's going to be able to easily kite them. And Raikou definitely will be the main target of choice, especially with the build he's playing. He's going with the Lonely Winter as well as the Tunnel of Ice build. So Raikou free casting is definitely a threat. And I think Zipai and Blizzard, they realize this. They need to be on top of Raikou to slow down a lot of his incoming damage. And so far, it's looking good. Raikou might be forced into his first Ice block, blinking away from the Fist of Fury, avoiding a lot of damage. Polymorph on Zipai, beautiful kiting by Raikou in order to potentially keep that Ice block in his back pocket, but the pressure from Wildcard Gaming is unrelenting. Wow, the pressure that they put out there is crazy. He's caught up in the leg sweep. They're finally going to get the Ice block. Look at what they got in this exchange. They got a temp. The temp shield is going to be back. Now he's in the Ice block. The innervate was used by Chaz right out of the drink. He's also going to have to trade out that Iron Bark, and Wildcard Gaming does not let up. Raikou only going to have that one Ice block left, and now another temp as well trying to look for some pressure here but that was such a fantastic exchange from wildcard game
gaming and this is why that we've considered them one of the best cleaves inside of the world and especially in eu yeah and now chas is actually gonna go and look for his own drink as wildcard gaming are retreating but the thing is looney could easily just go and grab his own drink here and tie up that mana and now they have snagged an ice block here zipai though gonna be taking a little bit of damage he does have his anti-magic shell though can't be too greedy with the chest gets caught up in the paralyzed nice temporal shift from raikyu the, the maledix coming a little bit too late there that temporal shield is gonna do very uh -oh. very big work for them now zipai has to activate his uh, anti-magic shell as well Yep, 32% dampening. z is going to start getting very scared in this matchup. If he stays in midfield for too long, Swapsy and Raikou will be able to really punish him, but Raikou has to survive until that point. He's getting lower. Second ice block for forced out. Not another one available for another four minutes. Wildcard Gaming, they're looking great. Blizzo still has Touch of Karma, Diffuse Magic, Fortifying Brew, all his defensives. z can rely on that anti-magic zone, and they can make that final offensive push onto Raikou. This composition pick may have backfired on Method Black. Uh, yeah, they definitely can. This is when they want to go for the push because Z-Pi is starting to become one of the juicier targets on side of the map. That AMZ going to be traded out. It is somewhat offensive as well. They want to stick onto Raikou. Raikou does have the temp to rely on. That's already going to go off. Not much left. Just in time, Iron Bark. Will it be traded out? Raikou inside of the Icy Veins, but he's not getting anything done yet. He's going to get kicked as they follow on through. Yeah, and the Touch of Karma is now active on Raikou. The Iron Bark really going to be the last line of defense. Raikou stunned up. This could be the end. He's caught up in that asphyxia instance. Swapsy trying to keep him alive. Nice stun from Looney. Looking to take a Cyclone and CC the whole team. And now he's even looking to add up a little bit of damage to push him through the edge. Can he do it, Van? I don't know, but Raikou's in a lot of trouble. Leg sweep. Looney just really ripping in with Blizzle and Zipai. He's holding on by a thread. Polymorph spam comes in. Chaz finally connects the heal, but look at Chaz's mana. He's used to everything he has left in the tank to keep Raikou alive. And at 41% dampening, this is just lights out for Raikou. Wild card game domination up three to one in the series and now gap every single week just by getting more points they are in a very good position and that just feels great going to land you, you basically have two teams that are you're okay with winning because one of them just gets you closer and the other one is you and it just guarantees that you make it all the way to the finals for the year but wildcard gaming gonna try to close it out here against method black yeah this composition from method black is really strong into what wildcard gaming is running we saw them eventually take down blizzo but I think Blizzo could have survived. It was a really close uh, matchup between these two teams, so I don't think it's completely one-sided. Wild Card Gaming, if they play as well as they have, they can definitely take this game. It's going to be up to Method Black. Waz, Raikou, they need to find pressure in this matchup. They need to force mistakes out of Zipai and Blizzo, and that's really going to be their moment of opportunity. We see a big swing from Blizzo early on, but immediate response on Method Black's part. What is piquing my curiosity is that Looney went back on the Mistweaver under the same conditions as he was in the previous game. Let's see how it performs. Already tons of damage dished back to Blizzo. Looney able to clutch out that live cocoon just in time. Perhaps on a smaller map, Looney thinks the Mistweaver is a better pick as it can add some bonus damage. And on Tiger's Peak, you're much closer to a pillar. You don't need to overextend as much. You've got points of line of sight. So he would prefer to play the Mistweaver overall. But on a larger map like Tolveron, he doesn't have that same luxury as he would on Tiger's Peak. So instead decides to go for the Restoration Druid. I can see the thinking in that decision making but his druid just looks so solid already you're seeing the weaknesses of the mistweaver exploited by crowd control blizzo has to exchange multiple defensives early on as a result yep definitely looney's super susceptible to that frost mage as well as the restoration druid but on the mistweaver monk they've been looking pretty solid so far this is the composition they've been primarily running but i have to say i agree with you i was very impressed with looney on the restoration druid and i think that could potentially swing this matchup back oh. in their favor Raikou getting bursted down blizzo getting triple leg sweep there the entire team of wildcard gaming in a stun nicely done by waz but still it's Raikou who's on the back foot and chad it's match point have to use a lot of mana Raikou getting low doesn't want to go down without ice blocking but he blinks away to safety chad's down to paralysis still no iron bark to fall back on Raikou Raikou's gonna have to use that temporal shield, but so much pressure from Wildcard Gaming. Yep, that wave of the crane adding a big punch here for Wildcard Gaming. Blizzard down at half still. Looney struggling, manages to top off with a revival. All times getting the whole team revitalized into the fight. Chaz's mana, that's not too good. Looney's babysitting Chaz, and if he can just constantly stop him from drinking, along with Zipai's pet management, it's looking solid for wildcard gaming. I've never seen a mana lead this early, this significant. This is what happens. Raikou uses Temporal Shield. Chaz with no Iron Bark. And now Raikou in a lot of trouble as he gets lower. But 
Those moments without Touch iron. of death. Oh, touch of death. What is Raku going to do? Still big damage. Whoa. Raku blinks away. Icebox the last second of that touch of death. But when Chaz is playing greedy and Raikou is playing greedy with the icebox, Chaz has to use so much mana to keep Raikou alive without Iron Bark and without Temporal Shield. Those moments where Zephyr and Blizzard can continue the push, that's the mana burn phase for their team. Chaz has to Wait, cast out heals. Did he cold he snap? Actually fall. Yep. Cold snap block, Raikou panic. That's a big overlap. Huge opening for wildcard gaming. Look at Chaz's mana. It's not going anywhere but down. They're on match point. They've got no blocks, and they're losing on mana. This is not good for Method Black. Looney might be able to close this out. Chaz is sneaking away. They can't let him sneak away, but Looney's crowd controlled. He can't deny it. Where was Zipai's ghoul? Did, Sha did Shadow Meld drop combat allow him to escape? Just kill Raikou. Met? They should just kill him. Why is Zipai even trying to stop the drink at that point? Still, that decision making right at that split second, you're like, well, the druid's drinking. Should we stop him from drinking? It's a really tough call to make, but I do agree now after looking at it after the fact that they should have just ran Raikou over. Yeah, Raikou had nothing left. Raikou's still getting low. Paralysis on Chaz. Looney trying to take him down as Raikou gets gripped back into the fight. He's trying to blink away, but with no ice walk for another three minutes. Maybe they can. Disaster time for Method Black. Chaz, no Iron Bark, no real defense left for Raik, who is just trying to plink away and cast out Frost Bolts. He gets some counter pressure, manages to find the Polymorph on Looney, but Blizzo and Zipa, they're still looking really healthy. Double leg sweep, denying the frozen orb damage from Raikou. Perfect timing by Blizzo as he looks to counter aggress. Zipai is locking Chaz down from healing. Temporal shield may be necessary. Waz holds it out with a double leg sweep, but Blizzo trinkets. Diffuse magic exchange for the Gladiator's Maledict. Looney's been crowd controlled for an extended period of time. This could be devastating. Blizzo has to trade out Touch of Karma. Wildcard Gaming had such a huge lead, but it's now starting to slip away. Raikou still under fire by Blizzo. Zipai trying to reconnect, but he's getting caught into some polymorphs. Blizzo, Zipai, all over Raikou in the situation. And keep in mind, he does not have another ice block. Touch of death rolling. Chaz has to respond with the Iron Bark. There's just no way he can get away with it. And it looks like he might be able to. Zipai and Blizzo really just not putting out that much damage with that touch of death. Zipai's been really focused on keeping Chaz in combat. You can't really blame him. Chaz is almost completely tapped at this point in the game. The ghoul is on Chaz, so Zipai can't afford to just run over Raikou at this point. What is he going to be able to do? All right, let's see. How much longer can he keep it up? Iron Bark available, but not very much mana. Looney gets counterspelled, and these counterspells were clutched from Raikou to find victory on Ashermane's fall. Raikou would definitely be the X Factor to find a kill for Method Black here, but even if they manage to win this game, Ben, Ashermane's is out of the pool, Tolveron is out of the pool. We go to Mugambala, but even though it's bigger than Tolveron, there's not as much open field, and that's what Method Black really needs to find victory when facing the composition pool that Wildcard Gaming have at their disposal. And I mean, they could even switch to a wizard comp if they needed to, should they feel it necessary. This is looking solid for wildcard. Chaz, he's trying to drink. Is he gonna get it? Uh, Looney, how much did he get? Uh, it's at least an even game here moving into dampening, but Chaz is gonna have to try and find another opportunity. Will he find it though? Chaz is getting just destroyed by Blizzo and z -Pi. We saw an aggressive icebound fortitude. z -Pi really wants to dig in and end this. Well, he knows Raikou in 45 seconds, one minute, Raikou's gonna have both of his ice blocks available once again, and that's gonna be disastrous for wildcard gaming. They need to try to get Raikou down before he gets a complete reset. Waz and Raikou caught into the stun. Raikou trinkets out, he's still trying to escape. Uses Temporal Shield, blinks away. Chaz into a Polymorph. Dark Simulacrum, Polymorph by Zipai. Raikou and Chaz have to make sure they're not giving Zipai these free crowd controls, that put the, putting them so far behind. Oh, uh, Raikou under huge pressure right now. Iron Bark about to fade. That's the last line of defense for another 10 seconds. 10 seconds on the clock, it's match point. Can Wildcard Gaming kill Raikou in that period of time? Six seconds and it's slipping away faster and faster. Raikou stabilizes. It's looking likely, but he would like to wait another 16 seconds. Can he make it to it? I think he's going to be able to. Maybe not. Raikou under pressure. 10 seconds away for Cold Snap. Waz is now low. If they don't kill Raikou, Method Black could swing this back. Yeah, definitely, but Chaz's mana is still not doing well, and at 13% dampening, it's gonna become so difficult for him to heal up his team. Looney not doing great on mana either. If they can prevent Looney from ever sitting down for a drink, I can see Waz and Raikou potentially taking down Zipai or Blizzo for sure. Chaz now in stealth, looking for a drink. Can Zipai shut him down? What is Chaz gonna be able to get here? If he can get a lot of mana, this is huge. Raikou with two ice blocks. Chaz with potentially full mana. Method Black with a beautiful reset, turning this game in their favor. All right, Raikou on the run. How much longer can he run, though? Facing down wildcard gaming. Chaz has managed to drink some mana back, and he's got two ice blocks again. Likely needing to use one now. 
trying to hold out with just the iron bark at 17% dampening is a risky gamble when you're on match point, but you sometimes have to take risks to find victory under these circumstances. Lizzo suddenly falling behind on defense. Waz could punch, punch through that with Touch of Death. He's going for it. Touch of Death, they're trying to punish z actually for an aggressive icebound fortitude. An opening for Method Black. Looney denies it with the left cocoon. Opts to use the trinket as well. z stole a polymorph. Now reversing the pressure. Gunning down for Raikou's ice block. He needs to be careful. He's on match point. Holding out for now. Triple leg sweep. Good positioning from Raikou. That set Waz up quite effectively. Definitely good pressure here from Method Black. And Blizzo with no trinket, no touch of karma is very vulnerable. And Looney, he actually, I think he sat down for a drink. So regenerating some of that precious mana is going to be huge for Wildcard Gaming. 21% dampening. Raikou with no trinket. The next leg sweep could be devastating. But with both of his ice blocks, he's going to be feeling relatively healthy. Chaz with an iron bark trying to keep Raikou alive, trying to top him off in these moments. Oh. Double leg sweep coming in from Looney. Does it make a swap on Waz? Now he uses the touch of karma in fortifying Brew. Now there's two open targets for Wildcard Gaming to potentially take down. And if they can continue the pressure on both Waz and Raikou, I don't think Chaz has the mana to heal through both that damage. But Looney only has enough mana for one more way of the crane. It's going to come down to one final push between these two teams. Is Waz's defense going to be cracked? Blizzard wants to find a kill on him. Will he find enough damage to take him out? Looks like he might be able to. Chaz is totally tapped. He connects one Nourish. He's trying to fake cast some interrupts on these Nourishes. He needs them now. Waz stabilizes now. Blizzo on the back foot. One, three seconds away from being able to use Touch of Karma. One second away from being able to stay alive. Blizzo stays in it. Now Blizzo is an opportunity to strike back. Ten seconds away from that way of the crane, and Looney's on crowd control DR. Waz, you gotta run. You gotta do something quick. Yeah, definitely. Waz could be in some trouble. Cyclone there by Chaz. Actually, it was stolen by Zipai once again, freezing Blizzo. Now into a leg sweep. Waz in a lot of trouble. No touch of karma for another 30 seconds. He's trying to run away. Flying Serpent Kick gets gripped, rolls away. Blizzo still all over him. Raikou trying to get some counter pressure. Chaz That's trying it. to go for a drink, but I think Waz has been left all alone for far too long. He's trying to stay alive. He's trying to kite away, but oh. Blizzo is looking to close it out. Rising Sun Kick to the face in Wildcard Gaming. 4-1 against Method. Up the Paralyze and the Leg Sweep. And, and Blizzo, of course, going to be allowed to chase Waz down. And now we can take a look at the bracket. Uh, I mean, look at these guys. Wildcard Gaming 3-0, 3-0, 3-1, 4-1, 7-2 against Method back on the day. Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.